possible. Checking out the tropics, again, remember, this is not a threat to us, but if this were to become our uh, first name storm, it would happen after the beginning of June 1st, which means we do not have a preseason storm. Finally, for the first time in seven years, it's being given a 70% chance by the National Hurricane Center. Not really aggressive, at least not yet. There is a little spin right here. You kind of see that has almost moved into the Bay of Campeche. This is really what is left over from Agatha after it moved on land yesterday. But if you notice just to the east of the Yucatan, there is another little spin. This one is more over the water and in the Caribbean. So which of these develops? Does either one of them develop? The models don't know right now. And when you look at some of the models and kind of really getting into the weeds here, the models have centers all over the place. They cannot figure out where a center is and where one would develop. All they're really indicating is all that moisture moving up toward Florida and certainly looks like it's going to be more than anything a rain event for Cuba and Florida. The Euro has started to back off on the intensity and even that was not a very intense storm, had more of a tropical storm. Now it's saying maybe a depression moving more toward the Fort Myers Tampa area, whereas the GFS has been pretty consistent, nothing really forming and staying more in South Florida. So if there's any consistency, it's that neither the Euro or the GFS has changed and they're both in disagreement. One thing that is certain, we have very dry air across the Gulf of Mexico right now, and that dry air is going to persist through the rest of the week and on into the weekend. Not only that, we have strong wind shear, so while the wind Wind shear will be pushing that moisture toward Florida. It is going to prevent anything from trying to really organize or strengthen. So anything that were to form, it's a rainmaker for Florida and again, not a threat to us.